y'all welcome to my studio I wanted to share a really cool trick with you yesterday I was telling a friend about how to direct where your deco art misters go um, and I had only used paper up until yesterday when I was telling her about it and I thought you know what I waste all that paint that goes onto the paper um, unless it's going to go into a journal or something so then I started thinking about transparencies and I use these to do my patterns for my packets. So I cut one in half. Nice little gnat flying around my studio this morning. Um, cut it in half, and I'm going to tape it, just with some scotch tape, in place. There we go. All right, and now I have a little cylinder that will kind of direct to where my paint goes. Now, I like it when the misters kind of splatter that paint, but if you're really trying to direct where the paint's going to go, this will really help. And the cool thing about it is the paint stays wet, and so you can actually use what is on the plastic or untape it, lay it out on a journal page or something, which we'll do in just a second, and I'll show you some really cool things you can do. So, um, just a canvas that I had laying around my studio. Can you see the cylinder? I'm going to spray that paint directly into the... And see, I did get some spatter, but it will stay... Oh, my phone just dinged. It will stay kind of where we, um, we want that paint to go. So, let's see here. Let's make... All right, so see all that cool paint that's inside that cylinder? I'm going to set that aside for just a second. Because then what I can do is come back with my brush with some water, just kind of slip slap that around. So I have my circle shape, and hydrangeas maybe. The paint's on there, move it around with that water. A little more water, whoops, too much. So just wipe it off, move what you have around. I'm just kind of slip slapping back and forth my traditional way to paint my hydrangeas and what I love about this paint is after it dries you're going to have some areas that are darker some that are lighter but let me show you another cool trick so once you've kind of gotten those done you can take a baby wipe wrap it around your finger And this trick, actually, with oils, I learned from the amazing Nancy Medina. So you can take that baby wipe, lift and move some of that paint, make little petals with it, because I'm lifting that heavier color. It's getting a little saturated, so I'll move my finger. See, then you start to lift more paint. So I'm just doing the same little stroke I would with a brush. Just doing it with my finger. How cool that is. All right. So let me show you what else with that cylinder. We'll move that out of the way. Take the cylinder, and I'm just going to take my brush, get it wet, run it along the inside of that plastic. A little more water. See, all that paint that I used to waste when it went onto the paper, I can actually use. Okay, or I can undo my cylinder. That tape, ooh, look at all that yumminess on that plastic. Move this around with some water. Let's watch that drip. Oh my goodness, what fun. And then lay it down. And maybe use that in your art journal, the background for a piece of art. Just kind of keep moving it. Then I can rinse this off and reuse it. Hope you enjoyed those little tips. Have fun. Until next time, happy painting.